In a war ravaged Gaza, every drop of water counts. Last month, according to Hamas officials in Gaza, Israel's military blew up more than 30 water wells in Gaza. The children face acute water and sanitation crisis. Water and power shortages put children's health at risk. But there is one person bringing in a small hope. Inas al Ghul's makeshift sun-powered water filter has become a vital asset for parched Palestinians surviving under the territory's scorching heat. Using wood from the few pallets of aid that make it into Gaza and window panes salvaged from buildings that have largely been abandoned in 10 months of war, this 50-year-old agriculture engineer has built a glass-covered trough. It is a very simple device. It's very simple to use and to build. It doesn't require electricity, filters or solar panels. It operates solely on solar energy. Now, well, how does this work? Well, first, she let salt water evaporate from the trough, which heated, was heated by the greenhouse effect created by glass panes. Now, that allows the water to distill, leaving behind the salt. From there, a long black hose carries the evaporated water to other containers filled with activated charcoal to further filter out impurities. Google's device doesn't require electricity, filter or solar panels. It operates solely on solar energy. This has proven particularly useful at a time when Gaza's only power plant is down and, and electricity supplies from Israel have been cut off for months. With fuel also in short supply, Gaza's desalination plants that haven't been damaged in the fighting have been working at a drastically reduced capacity. This project came at exactly the right time. It was able to provide us with clean drinking water and for about two months we relied on it entirely. In a school turned shelter where Abu Daud lives, close to Gul's house, other displaced families have come to rely on the water filtration system to fill up their bottles. The 250 liter tank that stores the clean water quickly empties, conscious of the pressing need for her device and of the ubiquitous danger of airstrikes, Gul regularly climbs up to her terrace to watch over her creation and to open or close her precious taps. This device is not just for war. It also addresses the issue of salinity, specifically the salinity of water wells in the Gaza Strip. In a few years, we won't have fresh water to drink in the Gaza Strip. All the fresh water is used by farmers to grow strawberries, which requires fresh water and which are then exported. The same applies to growing flowers.